Hey, hey pirates. pirates! Welcome back to another edition of Pirate News. The Cinco de Mayo edition. Good morning, Pirates. As we are closely approaching the end of the school year, I would like to take this time to congratulate the class of 2023 for their accomplishments. We look forward to celebrating you over the next few weeks. Seniors, you will soon receive information regarding all the events taking place in the weeks to come, including Senior Awards Night, Grad Night, and Senior Farewell, and much more. At this time, I would like to recognize the Paramount High School Class of 2023 Valedictorian and Salutatorian. Your Valedictorian is Marlene Hernandez, and your Salutatorian is Angel Munoz. Join me in, congratulation, in congratulating Marlene and Angel for this distinguished accomplishment. Students, you can look on Schoology for the link with the video presentation recognizing all our seniors that will graduate with honors and high honors. Again, congratulations to the class of 2023. Promise next week, Pirates. Don't forget to buy your tickets before it's too late. What are you doing for Cinco de Mayo? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Hello, what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? Uh, Cinco de Mayo is, um, I guess, celebrating uh, Mexicans' independence. Yeah. yeah. Hello, what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? I don't know. Valid. Well, hello, what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? I think Cinco de Mayo is when the Puebla defeated France in 1862 in Mexico. Correct. Oh All right, I'm here with Diane. And today's question is, what is Cinco de Mayo? Isn't it like Mother's Day or something like that? Right on. All right, I'm here with... Vanessa. And what is Cinco de Mayo? Isn't it like a celebration of Mexico's independence? No. I'm here with... Justin. And what does Cinco de Mayo mean? What? Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that's uh, May 5th, no? Thank you. Hello, what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? Uh, Cinco de Mayo is when the Mexican army defeated the French. Hello, what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? I think it's the independence of Mexico. <laughs> Hello, what do you think Cinco de Mayo is? Uh, I think Cinco de Mayo is like a celebration for Cinco or for Mexico to celebrate some type of independence or the winning of a war. I'm not too sure. Pirates, don't forget to vote for ASB Cabinet on school duty. Hi Pirates, my name is Micah, Biala, Micah Juliana Biala, but you guys could call me Micah for short. And I will be running for the 2023-2024 school year cabinet. And I want to be part of the cabinet because I want to be part of something that makes a difference in our school. And I think I would be a pretty great cabinet member because I'm always up for the challenge, I'm always taking risks, and I'm always, I always aspire to be the person that stands up for every one of our students in Paramount High School. Thank you guys. I don't know if you guys know, but Rodrigo loves Cinco de Mayo. Congratulations to the boys swim team. JC, Juan, Beto, Joseph, Max, Joshua, Diego, and Joshua Calderon. For qualifying for CIF finals and making it to the medal round. Good, Good luck, luck pirates. pirates. Now let's check in with West Campus. Hi everyone, here's what's happening at West. We would like to take some time to congratulate our PHS West Teacher of the Year, Ms. Cynthia Jimenez. She was voted by peers and administrators for this award. Ms. Jimenez has earned this award for being an outstanding teacher. Let's hear how she feels about her honorable award. How does it feel to be Teacher of the Year? It's a really nice feeling because it's an honor to have been selected by my colleagues. What is your favorite thing about teaching? I like getting to know my students and connecting with them, along with having a positive effect. We would like to take some time to congratulate our PHS West Employee of the Year, Mrs. Rami Jimenez. She was voted by peers and administrators for this award. Hi, I'm with Ms. Romy, who is our cafeteria manager and who also happens to be our Employee of the Year. And she's also my mom. How does it feel to be the Employee of the Year? Very happy and a nice surprise. And what would you say is your biggest challenge? I think it was is being be able to manage my stuff, a large, large stuff.
morning, class. Good morning, Miss Lackey. Today's word of the week is side-eye. So what does side-eye mean? I don't know. Miss Lackey, what does side-eye mean? The word side-eye is a term people use when they are questioning someone's intentions or slightly judging them. Now let's see the example. Hey friend, girl, girl, let me tell you, let me tell you. I found out that Harriet Tubman was my long lost grandmother and Will Smith is my third cousin. Did you know that Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day? That day is actually September 16th. Cinco de Mayo translates to the 5th of May. This day celebrates a single battle between the Mexican army and the French army in 1862 at the Battle of Puebla. Mexico was the underdog, yet they were victorious and they became the heroes, making this a celebrated Mexican holiday. And on Saturday, May 6th, Canelo Alvarez will be fighting John Ryder. You know, Cinco de Mayo should really be a school holiday. It really should be. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Alvarez. Just a quick input on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, for Mexicans, it's just a regular day, uh, but here in the U.S., we see it more like a stereotype. But I do want to emphasize uh, the main point of this uh, day is that the farmers uh, from Mexico actually beat up a colonial army, which is a highlight. You have uh, people that are trained in a military way, but you have people that have no tools compared to, to the army, yet they were able to defeat a whole, a whole spectrum of uh, disadvantages. So. That's my intake or my input on Cinco de Mayo, so stay fresh. This month, we will be showing appreciation to the Asian American and Pacific Islander culture and heritage. Join us May 12 on the Grand Sierra as we celebrate and embrace the culture. We will have performers from Senior Campus Pacific Islander Club. Congratulations to the Fairmount softball team for their first round CIF win against Lancaster High School. They won on Tuesday, May 2nd with a score of 4-1. to one. Up next will be Hawthorne High School. Did you know? Did you know that the month of May is the Mental Health Awareness Month? Make sure to wear green to support. Now you know. Now you know. Next time on Pirate News. Easter Eagle will make his final return against the one and only Cinco de Mayo boy in an all-out wrestling match. After winning the belt, Easter Eagle will try to make his first title defense against the one and only Lightning Speed. Hey Pirates, welcome back to another edition of PMZ. Who's got some stories for me? Ooh. Uh, you. I heard there's a Dora lookalike on campus. <laughs> Damn, where'd Diego at? Anyways, who got another story for me? Ooh. Uh, you. I heard there's a teacher mistaken for a student on campus. Hey, get to class! Let's go! Get to class! I'm not a student, I'm a teacher! Yeah, right. Who'd you steal that from? No one! Get to class! Damn, I thought she was a sophomore. Who's got another story for me? Uh, you. I heard there's a teacher's pet in the class. Oh man, I need one of my good students to go film something. Let's see what we got. Hey Henry, you're one of my better students. Can you go film something for me? Yeah, for sure. Mr. Awesome, let's go. Alright. You serious? My bad. <gasps> Those were some great stories, Pirates. Go out and get some more.
That wraps up another edition of Pirate News. See you See next, you next week, week Pirates! Pirates.